Gutins, my dudes. Your weekly pop culture power hour is starting now on Z90.7 WZIS. Hello and welcome to the Shudden's Talk Show. It's me, it's me, it's CJP. With me as always is... Gavin the Chef Cook. Pick it, what's popping? It's... It's poppin'. It's I, a I guess. Indeed. Yeah, it's... Uh, it looks like uh, gross outside. And uh, and I don't feel uh, 100% either, sadly. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a weird day. Like, good things have happened. But it's yeah. also been one of those bad days, like, yeah. weather-wise. And then, like, I don't even have a cold anymore. Mm-hmm. I'm just getting over it. So it's literally just all the mucus moving. Right. So if I sound like I'm dying, I promise I'm not. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to, like, apart. I keep going back and forth between, like, do I just talk normal as if I'm not feeling kind of whatever? Or do I just, like... Dial it back, so I don't know. I guess we'll see <laughs> with what we we'll talk about. We'll see how excited you get. Yeah, that's true. Um, will, uh, especially I'll... with our, our very uh, loose scheduling as of late. Uh, sometimes I don't know what we're about Some to talk about. Some of them are about. really cool, though. Uh, yeah, and I guess we can start off with uh, probably the biggest thing yeah. that's happened uh, this week, which was, uh, let me let me check to see. Uh, yeah, it was like two days ago, I think. Yeah, I think it was Monday when I was in my office and watched it for the first time. Yeah, that sounds right. So we got a new Stranger Things trailer. Yes, which is funny because we were just talking about that. Oh, no, it was yesterday. We were just talking about that, I think, last week. Uh, yeah. We mentioned it. We talked about um, the teaser we got. Oh, yeah, so that was like a week or two ago, yeah. And I think we did, but I think we talked about the past two weeks. One of them was because of that teaser and then the info of them splitting up the season mm-hmm. into two parts as well as... Uh, and we were talking about something else, and then that came up when it came to, I think, show distribution and some random stuff. But, yeah, needless to say, uh, for those of you who haven't seen the trailer, uh, it's a good lord. It's bonkers. It's something. Because, uh, like, the last trailer we got, which was, what, January? Like, the beginning of the year? Or end of last year? I don't remember. Like, the teaser? No, I mean, like, the first, like, initial oh, trailer. Yeah, yeah, that was. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was only, like, a minute or so long, so I guess you could call that. Yeah, like that one, it was like, oh yeah, everything seems all nice, we're getting the general plot, and then as it goes in, you just get like, just flashes of a bunch of stuff yeah, going on, uh... and you're just like, yo, what is going on? And this did the same thing, but for three minutes. So uh, yeah. we get a little bit more info on what's going on, plot-wise, um, and then a lot more of what the hell is going on, yeah. because they show some wild stuff in this. So like, there's obviously the big some big questions that people still have. That obviously they're not going to give away in this because people are going to watch it anyway to find out. Because uh, well, one of the biggest things from the end of last season was uh, all these people got disintegrated in an explosion, uh, seemingly including Hopper. But no, he's just in Russia now. So I kind of want to know how that happened. Yeah. And they show him like finding all some Russian dudes and escaping. And I remember in one of the stills. Oh, yeah, that was another thing we talked about. There was like stills and stuff that we talked about uh, with over the last couple weeks. And one of them was... Uh, jo- was yeah, uh, was Joyce, and then I don't remember the other dude's name. That was like the the off the grid scientist dude that they were friends with, uh, or that they met last. Wasn't season. it like Nikolai or something like that? No, I mean like the American dude. Oh, that oh, I was thinking of yeah. the one that really liked his slushy. Yeah, R R I P Alexi. Yeah, R I P my dude. Oh, Alexi. Yeah, ne- never forget my dude. I love that guy. He was great. Uh, he was great. Uh, I miss him, but uh. But he died, died. So that's not happening. Rest in Skeddy. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so they, I, I'm pretty sure in one of those stills they showed them, and it was like sn- it was snowy. So either they were in Russia or Siberia or something, and they had like crashed their plane, or it's snowy. Well, no, it won't be. No, it has to be what it is because it's yeah. it's it's they're going on Cause like because like, it's spring break. It, it was it's spring break, so yeah. it's gonna be nice everywhere else. In this trailer, it looks like he uh, when you see him for the first time in the trailer. It looks like he's like walking out of like a prison or like some type of really yeah. security heavy zone. Yeah, that's I think that's where they keep him because he's like a prisoner of war, basic or I guess you could say, and they're keeping him doing all these uh, that manual labor and stuff. Uh, but yeah, like it, I was very interested with this trailer because um, they had Max as like kind of like a forefront for it, which is yeah, which I I did not expect. Uh, not a bad thing either. though, because yeah, I'm excited to see more Max, especially after like every last season yeah and that's what they're showing here as a big part where she's like going to billy's grave like on a regular basis and uh like i guess just giving like updates yeah. essentially because she was talking about in the trailer she was like things have only gotten weirder since then uh and then another big thing that they mentioned in this trailer um on the side of because you know the buyers and 11 went to 
California or something. I don't remember. They drove wherever they went. They drove away at the last end of last season. Mm-hmm. So it's been a couple months, which is going to be funny when they looks everybody looks va- almost vastly different than the last time we've seen them. Oh yeah, uh, uh, which is really funny. Whatever. I always forget his character's name. Caleb's character. Mm-hmm. Uh, he literally there's a scene in the trailer where he's on a basketball court. Oh, he looks like a different person. He, it's. I literally thought to myself, who's the new character? Yeah, like no, he. His name Lucas. I think he is. I Lucas think I think show. I think he's. I also don't remember half their names either because again the last season came out like three years ago. So I'm I gonna only need remember to Dustin. And, oh yeah, that's his name. Uh, Dustin will. Uh, Dustin will. Mike. Mike eleven. Lucas Max. And those are the main kids. Yeah, and then. Uh, and then there's Steve. Steve, that's his yeah. Name. Steve. Scoops ahoy, my guy. Yeah, yes. Yeah, oh, st- and Robin. Yeah, Steve and Robin, and then. Uh, Mike's older sister, whose name is... Samantha. No. Veronica. Wow, how can I not remember her name? All right, anyways, we got most know, of like them. Like I said, I have to go rewatch it because my brain yeah. is not... Yeah, I don't know if I'll rewatch the whole thing, but uh, I just I'll rewatch... rewatch season three. Yeah, season three. Yeah, but like, a big thing they say in this involving Eleven is that there's, so there's some, like, some old dude talking to her at like a diner or something, um, saying that like, She's a big part of whatever's happening because obviously there's more weird, creepy, upside down stuff it's going like on that we don't know. Some war. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Because uh, then, it, yeah, because then she's she straight up says at some point that she doesn't have her powers anymore. Yeah. Which I'm curious because I, I I I was like, I would assume that means she's either uses them very infrequently or since she moves she's just never used them ever because she's not needed to. Yeah. But then, but that old dude was also telling her saying like, "Oh, your friends and like you thought you were getting away from the problem, but it's only gotten worse, and all your friends and Hawkins are in danger." Then at one point it shows them they start riding their bikes into the upside down, so you know they're in, they're in the negative world, so it's everything around them, but all like creepy and weird. And there's like, I don't know. And then they start. Then they show. I wanna turn the whole thing say, upside. Uh, no, uh, that song's not. Well, I'd say play that, but that song doesn't exist at that in this, at that point in time. Oh yeah, yeah. Curious George um, was like oh five. Yeah, or like early two thousands. Um, but yeah, but also speaking of music in this trailer. Uh, they have like this crazy remix of Separate Ways, Worlds Apart by yeah. Journey, and it rules. Yeah. They posted on, on like Spotify and everything like immediately too. I was really? Like, yeah, they did because I went to check to see if it did. And they did. I need to go listen to it. Yeah, because it was it's super good. rad. Because I was just oh. it was had all like the creepy music, whatever. Uh, but then you know then you hear Steve Perry singing. You're like, what? Steve Perry. Steve Perry. Steve Perry. Um, <laughs> but, one thing I noticed, um, and it's just interesting, mm-hmm. just because I'm weird. You know how I analyze things. Um, when Eleven's talking to that older dude, mm-hmm. and she's like, "I don't have my powers anymore," it just shows like the this random clip from season one when she first broke out. You know, oh, yeah, hospital gown, nose, yeah, basically bald Eleven. Mm-hmm. But then it shows Eleven now, and at one point she loses her hair again <laughs> and gets it all shaved off. Oh yeah, you're right. I didn't even you know I didn't that, even think of that. Yeah, because yeah, you know that it's not season one Eleven. Yeah, just because like she's wearing like. It's weird. It looks like she's wearing like it's like a vest, a bulletproof vest. Yeah, it's a That's weird. Like, like, it looks like it's made of Kevlar or something like yeah, that. Yeah, but she obviously didn't lose her powers, or if she did, it's only briefly because or just because like see her chuck some dudes. Without that's even true. At them. Yeah, um, but then also like yeah, there's just like there's a whole lot going on, and I'm trying to figure it out. Um, and that's what I brought up. I would say like the biggest thing in this. Um, because then it's like, I think it started getting signs that, like, Hopper's actually alive and stuff. Because at one point, Joyce has, like, a package, and it's got a bunch of, like, Russian stamps on it. So that probably is, like, giving clues to, like, oh, I'm here and alive. Alexi. Come get me. No, no, he, he it's died. It's a package full of letters from Alexi saying, I need more slushies. It's just, except he's he's dead, R.I.P. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, like, there's just a lot of, like, the, the voiceover uh, is giving a lot of stuff. Because a lot of it... Especially, it's like, it's this voiceover clearly with a conversation with Eleven. And then most of the tra- stuff in the trailer show where everybody's at a group, Eleven's like the only one not there. Yeah. Which is very I think Eleven's going to get abducted. That's what it seems like is that she's getting, it's that this dude is a homeboy from like the people that did experiments and stuff on him. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just the way and, you said that. So scientific. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, science homeboy. And, <laughs> science uh, homeboy. But yeah, so I guess he's involved with that and he's like either being overly nice like some villains are. They're just like, they'll give their whole like a spiel of like, like in for exposition, but then they're yeah, like, okay, but now Mr. you're Bond. Yeah, exact yeah, exactly. Exactly. Something like that. Which makes sense. This is like mid to late eighties now we're in. I think it's like eighty six, maybe. Oh yeah, it shows her like straight up in some like 
like military or police vehicle getting yeah. uh, carted away. Um, another part that was just completely out of nowhere. Um, the whole group at one point is around Billy's grave, mm-hmm. and Max is just floating. Oh yeah, and it's like broad daylight too. Like yeah. she's just—it's like she's—it's like she just got grabbed by something. It's like she was getting abducted by like aliens. Yeah, it was not the same way that they're about to get my dog eleven. Not uh, true, true. Um, but yeah, but then at one point I'm kind of scared too because this is more than likely the last season. Or no, I think I said it was it's the last season. I think because it, then it's like oh every beginning has an end or whatever. Mm, I something like that. I was reading in a Collider article. And apparently there's a fifth season planned. Mm. But this fourth season being separated is because it's supposed to be preparing us for a huge fifth season finale. Like, finale season. Really? Because I, I could have sworn there was unless like... Unless they were talking about the parts being two separate seasons. They just worded it weird. Yeah, I don't know. Because um, I that's the thing. Like, it's taken them long enough in between every season longer and longer to make it. I feel like they need to end on a good note while they can before it takes even longer in between seasons again, mm-hmm. and then nobody will care anymore. Because, like, this break it, uh, already has gotten already, like, people are half and half, like, excited, and also, like, I don't remember what happened last time, which is not what you want to happen with, you know, one of the biggest Netflix originals they've had in years. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's just wor- it's just worded weird here. It says, okay. From the looks of this new trailer, season four is starting. Why, why are you doing this to me? Uh-huh. From the looks of this new trailer, season four is st- uh, starting the ticking clock to a mysterious war that'll presumably play out in these last two seasons. I'd assume it. I assume they mean like the, the first parts. the parts. Yeah, that's just bad wording. Because in my head, I was like, I thought this was the final. Yeah, so I'm pretty. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. It's just they confuse like having two parts as two separate seasons. Oh yeah, um, they just worded it weird because yeah, they at the very end they say the first half. Yeah, but uh, because, because of this, I'm getting kind of scared. Because um, I'm realizing that with the finality of it, uh, people can totally die, and then the series is just over as well after that. Um, because at one point, it has Steve and, oh my god, what is Mike's? Nancy. Nancy! Oh my god, thank you. So yeah, it has Steve and Nancy there, and they're I guess they're like climbing down somewhere, because they have like all these sheets tied together as like a rope. And Steve's like, see you on the other side. And she's like, see you on the other side. And I'm just like... I hope they mean like I guess I'm like I really hope that means um like they're going down the like, upside down like one at a time and then they're gonna like uh, hang out there like what everybody else is doing and not a uh, uh not like a, a typical movie thing where it's like see you on the other side and then you never see that person again you know what I mean I hope it is uh because like I again like like people have died every season but usually it's been like one main person maybe mm-hmm. two yeah uh and now with this one with it being the final season oh man anybody can just bite the dust at any time and that's terrifying because <laughs> with how they've done it in the past it will not be fun it'll be very gruesome why not usually some demon grotesque looking thing uh or getting evaporated now granted that somehow didn't work on hopper uh or nobody got evaporated and they all got sent to russia and it was just a very weird teleporting thing i have a feeling it might be what it be but i, I don't know mm-hmm. we'll have it explained somehow i assume but yeah them actually going into the upside down like just straight up. Yeah, because last is, I checked, is Will freaky. was the only one that had been in the Upside Down. Well, he had, and well, then, like, Hopper went in to get him. Yeah. Well, um, that's what I meant. It's like, no one, like, like, like most people. It. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, it said, like, every big game has an ending. Also, uh, there's the, a Demogorgon in there, too. Then there's, like, there's, like, the main final boss, if you will, like, like, demon. Yeah. And he's, like, more humanoid, and he's got, like, a bunch of extra, like, arms I'd and, and the stuff. Demigod, or Demogorgon God. The Demo God. Yeah, uh, no, but yeah, it like looks. My name in Rocket League. Huh. Honestly, I'm I'm waiting for the part in the trailer because I'm I'm rewatching it right now to like see it. Also, they have, I don't know why he's there or if this is some like other thing, but this new side character they have where he's like friends with the kids. These are new DM for Dungeons and Dragons, and he's got super '80s hairband hair, and he just keeps ripping guitar the guitar randomly yeah. in this. And in this, it looks like he's in the Upside Down, like ripping. I don't know if that's him or like a. Possessed, like, an upside-down version yeah, or something? Yeah, there's, like, a part where he's, like, leaned across the table, and it looks like he's floating. Yeah, I think those look at him, like... Yeah, it's, it's weird intersplicing of, like, them just, like, hanging out and be, having fun, and then super depressing, awful things happening to everybody. As it should be. Yeah, which is... I mean, that's basically what the whole show is. But, yeah, yeah, it's, like, this weird-looking, like, humanoid figure that's talking. He literally and... looks like the offspring of a Demogorgon and a human. Yeah, no, exactly. It's like a hum- the most humanoid of like the demon stuff that's like come up, which is just 
it's very gross, and he's got like a bunch of tentacles like connected to him. So it looks like he's like, it almost looks like he's had been growing there. It looks like he's like and kind of like how Brainiac does in DC stuff. Yes, it's I kind of like what the tentacle or like things reminded me of. Yeah, like how that's connected to him, and he's like part of the ship when part of that. Uh, but yeah, so it's just been a whole lot of crazy stuff. Uh, it's about time. There's a lot of like, there's just a bunch of things in it that like don't make sense that we're gonna need a lot of context for, uh, and I'm very excited. To beginning that. Because uh, again, it's been three years since the last season came out. And it came out July 4th. And I watched it all in a day. And I remember most stuff that happened, I think. Uh, but yeah. I'll definitely need to rewatch it before this comes out. Uh, the first part comes out the end of May, right? Uh, it's like July 1st, actually. The first part? No, that oh, was the, the second first, part. Oh, the first part is May 27th. I thought you said yes. the second part. No, I was no, like, no. why would it come uh, no, back? No, well, no, no, no. I said the second part comes out like June. Or what is it? June or July? That's right. July um, 1st. Yes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little bit of venting in the span of one <laughs> sentence here. Okay. Um, for everyone that's going to complain about this two-month span, just know I have to wait for the final part of Attack on Titan until next year. Man, speaking of some truth, yeah, yeah, yeah. On the anime anime side of things, when it comes to show releases, uh, America is dumb, and they're just like, "Oh, we're gonna sp- uh, make everybody this thing that everybody's hyped about wait an entire like extra like year," they, and it's really dumb. It's because like it's like they make it and then release it, so they're like, "Oh, they'll have something to watch while we finish making it." Yeah, but no, that's not how it works. No, no, it's it. Yeah, that's dumb. I and it's sad to see that too because like. Two of the biggest shows recently, like I don't care for the show, but like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, everybody was like, fr- was like super into the latest season, and the same with Attack on Titan, and then both of them are like, oh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna have the finished version, uh, done until next year, and, and for literally no reason, and it, it's very dumb, uh, but luckily, yeah, not every show and company is that stupid, and we won't have to wait much longer for the Stranger Things stuff. Uh, then Netflix is going to have to go back to the drawing board on making another hit show because uh, this has worked out well for them, and I'm glad this they're This will hold us able. over until we get uh, The Last Airbender. Uh, I, hope that's, I hope that still ends up being good. We haven't talked about that in forever. So far, so there hasn't been any new news, so yeah. um, what I'm talking about now is stuff we've already talked about. If you missed out, I'm sorry. Mm. But, um, yeah, so from what I've seen with the casting, oh, there's been, like, one new casting since we right. last talked about it, but nothing huge. From the castings, I think it'll be a great show. Yeah. Or at least so far the casting is great, so the only thing that they would mess up would be probably the editing and the script. But I Well, I mean, the that. original creators aren't part of it anymore either, which scares yeah. me. Because we saw what happened the last time that happened. That's what I mean. Anyways, we're going to go to break. And when we come back, we're going to talk about some more stuff. Uh... I don't know what we're talking about next, to be honest with you. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Uh, But we'll figure it out when we come back on a Shen's Talk Show. That almost didn't work. That was supposed to be funny. Uh, Quite sad. You can now buy a Chucky doll of your own. Wow. Studio just officially released uh, full-size versions of the doll from the TV series. Lord, it is hot in here, bro. I know you are, but we're not. This sucks. Uh, Will Ferrell here. joins Margot Robbie in the new Mattel Barbie movie. <laughs> Who is he playing? Ken? No. Oh, I, I, that would have been better. In an unknown role. Ryan Gosling's Ken. That makes sense. America Ferreira, Kate McKinnon, Alexandra Ship, and Ariana Greenblatt. And Simu Liu. What? That's awesome. So uh, are, are they doing it like she's a toy? Like similar to Toy Story? Or is she a real person now? I think they might just do it like a real person. Oh, yeah, it's kind of weird. Rebel Wilson is going back to high school. Wow. In this new movie? Mm. Oh, God. She just looks so unrecognizable. Movies, video games, and more right now on Shut In's Talk Show on Z90.7 WZIS. And we are back with the Shut In's Talk Show. Uh, we said we'd figure out what we were talking about next, and we sort of haven't. Uh, I, think, I know I've been mentioning things. Well, I know everyone on Twitch sitting here well, listening okay. to Jacob giggle and no. not say anything. Oh, okay. All this gold I'm giving. Well, you were just reading it for the first time too, so I don't know what's no, going I on. I brought him up, but I didn't want to bring it up mid segment. Well, okay. But I'm good at my job. Okay. Well, I there was something we talked about earlier, and now I can't remember. 
what it was, and I'm kind of annoyed now. All right, you know what we're going to talk about? What are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about the new Marmaduke trailer. Excuse me? Yeah, Netflix released the, huh? first, the official first trailer for Marmaduke. Since when were they making a Marmaduke movie? animated film. Uh, what? And uh, Pete Davidson is voicing Marmaduke. Uh... <laughs> I'm glad we got that camera now. Why? So all of the picket free camera. Oh my god, dude. Yeah. Come on. I'm so sick of hearing about this dude. I don't care. Uh... Uh, I love Collider so much. The trailer really emphasizes just how much of a troublemaker Marmaduke is. Oh, my God. Following a barbecue-ruining cannonball, the family dog goes viral, reaching the local news as the most untrainable dog ever. Okay, that's a that's a good take on a like more modern like th- version of like a, a comic strip. Yeah, that's and this grabs good. the attention of a world-renowned dog whisperer who tries to usher Marmaduke. Oh, my God, Caesar Milan is in this? Oh, God. Yo! Stop. <laughs> that's crazy. I'm about to... <laughs> I'm gonna about to. Oh, no. I'm gonna tie him up and force him to watch all Pete Davidson content. Oh uh, no! And Just I'll I'll have you watch I'll have you watch Dog Whispers then. <laughs> oh my god! The last time Marmaduke. Re- oh, never mind. Oh no! What do you mean, never mind? Oh, it's because they were talking about the first Marmaduke movie. Yeah, that was like 2010. Yeah, so they were just talking about it. They were it like, the was... last time Marmaduke appeared in film, it was Owen Wilson. Because I was about oh to my say, god, holy crap, George Lopez is in this one too. Is that no? They were just talking about the first. I forgot he was in the first one as well. Again, that movie came out twelve years ago. Also, I don't rem- when the when the hell did they announce that they were making a Marmaduke movie again? Because I don't recall that. Apparently, four days ago. Oh, okay, cool. <clears throat> I guess not everything has to be announced and then a trailer comes out. They can do both at the same time. Exactly. That is that is that is fair. Yeah. So I kind of forgot. A lot of people don't do that anymore, though. So I kind of forgot about. So it's not really uh, news news because I know you hate Pete Davidson. Okay, well, I, okay, I hate him less. It's just I hear about him every time I wake up, basically, and I'm just well, kind of sick of it. What do you expect when he's dating, like, literally probably most likely the most popular woman right now in the world? That's true. Or one of the most popular. Yeah, which in, in, in by connection makes him the most famous dude. Second most. Right now, well, yeah. Because they're more concerned about their uh, her ex husband. Uh, right true. Now? That's the. We're not here to talk about that. That's not. Yeah, that's not I'm not giving a side. I yeah, was yeah. Saying. I say that's not. Whatever. <laughs> we're just uh, scrambling to talk about things because. I don't know. I guess I. I we could have sworn that more things happen. We're like, oh, we'll be fine once we start the show. And that's apparently not the case. So. Um. Can I just give? We're just rambling. A quick shout out. To. My homies over at Collider who tapped in and decided to put a little list together for me on how to watch the American Pie movies in order chronologically and by release date. Oh, good As Lord. if it was Star Wars. Uh, yeah, what? Then, the, wait, you found another one like that, too, early. Wasn't it Medea movies? Yeah, it was how to watch the Medea movies in chronological Thanks, Collider. I really movie. needed to know that. I think I, it's I great. really, I really appreciate that. <laughs> I definitely needed that. So, uh, And then, great, I joked about that, but somebody was like, hey, you should. Like, hey man, you, now you now you you got no excuse. You got a list in front of you. You know exactly what to go for. Yeah. Oh, this is the show is a train wreck. <laughs> so no, we should have expected this, bro. Oh, Look at what it looks like outside. Goodness. We should have known that we were not we were not gonna have that we were not getting thrown yeah. enough bones here. Watch me blow Jacob's mind real quick. Oh no, Jacob, you might want to press the zoom in button on that camera's microphone. I want everyone to on see reaction on the camera's microphone. Yeah. What's talking about? That's the buttons. I know. I'm, I'm trying. I don't remember what. Oh, no, that's, that's wrong. That's me. Yeah, the hi, that's Gavin. And then this. This is me. Yeah. Lower what? It, lower it. Got arrows. Oh, can I? Oh. Oh, there we go. Yes, yeah. There it is. There there it is. Oh, oh, up, up a little bit. Oh. Okay, uh-huh. I need my reaction for this. Yep. Why, what, what, are you, what are you telling me? You brought me the ocean, a new series with HBO Max, which is an Aqualad origin series. Huh? What? Since when? What? Five days ago. It's just... HBO what? Max has been ramping up their DC Comics content with shows like Peacemaker and Doom Patrol, what? making a real splash for the streamer. Now, according to Variety, Charlize Theron is set to executive produce a new huh? series based on the young... Based on the... Uh, why is my my brain not working? Based on the young... Why well, are you not reading it? <laughs> it's not Young Justice. It. I mean, it is, but it's not. This is YA. Uh, young Avengers. <laughs> but young adult, on, bro. Young adult. Oh, based on the graphic novel, 
yeah. uh, which is called You Brought Me the Ocean by Alex Sanchez. And it okay. is the story about how Aqualad became Aqualad. Okay. And the series will be a one-hour live-action drama. Oh, wow. And the adaptation specifically follows the life of Jackson, Jake Hyde. Character is described as follows. Everyone should know who he is if you've seen it. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to read his description. What do I know? Like, well, wait, Warner wait. Brothers has already thrown money into it. Okay, word. Well, I was going to say, like, again, they've been killing it with their DC stuff, especially the stuff on HBO Max. Uh, whether it's the success that they're putting their movies on it. I mean, they're already putting the Batman on there in, like, a week, which is kind of crazy. I'm excited about that because I still haven't seen the Batman. Wait, really? Dude, I don't I have anyone. Sworn. You I saw it. You, it came out. And then you had already seen it. Yeah. And so... I was, I was home that weekend. I didn't so I have anyone else to that, go see it with me. That is tragic. And I'm, I apologize to people who love it so much, but there's no way I'm going by myself to see a film. That like is Halo. fair. That Oh, yeah. No, not here. I was, I've seen a film by myself once. I would like back home, but like... I don't know. I feel like I'd have to go with friends in order for me to even remotely get comfortable enough to enjoy yeah. the film. No, I get you. Because, like, I don't know. I got, say, the seeing a movie by, by yourself here weird in this town. I social anxiety. Yeah, well, like, seeing a movie by yourself in this town is a, a no. Yeah, it's weird. I'm like, even, if, even if we had seen, because like, even, like, when we saw Shang-Chi, like, even when we were there and there was, like, four other people, like, or maybe, like, a four other pairs of people, I still mm-hmm. would have been, like, weird if I went in there and was, like, by myself and was like, oh, man, there's only, like, four other people here. That's kind of weird. Like, no matter how many people are there, it's going to be weird. I mean, again, like, when I was went saw a movie by myself, it was Infinity War. It was out of necessity because the people I knew were going to try to spoil it for me. And so I couldn't have that happen because otherwise I'd start getting violent. And so I went and saw it in the front row, last seat, by myself. I spilled my drink on myself. Where at? This was, well, this isn't Speedway. This is, this okay, that's, what, well, that's go, what I thought. Because this is Infinity War. So this is a million years ago. Yeah, you um, saw it by yourself. Yeah, well, I, was, I saw it and I was leaning back in my chair. Like, the Batman is one thing. But like Infinity War is such a great spectacle, you would have true. You could you know, honestly, you could have went to like school the day before that came out and just been like, "Hey guys, who's gonna go see Infinity War?" And well, I think some other people and shoot up. Well, yeah, but I also think most people had already like uh, had already like planned on it. Um, or if they had planned on it, they had planned on seeing it like not the day it came out. Um, but also still somehow spoiling for me. I got they, they I got freaked out and paranoid, so I was like, I gotta see this movie ASAP. Nobody, because well, no, ain't nobody gonna tell me nothing. They did class presentations the day after Infinity War came out, and some dude changed his presentation to where the very last slide had spoilers. No right way! What? That's oh, did he get did he get jumped afterwards? Almost. Oh my god! I was gonna say you can't. So like people always Luckily joke our like teacher was old because mm. literally he goes all right. No one should care about superheroes that much. Oh, sit down and stop being loud. Wow, and dude, like, that's that's crazy. I specifically what? remember hearing a kid go, "Bryce, you are the worst human being." <laughs> dude, for real, with that movie, with like they kept talking it up, like with that movie, like oh, some stuff's gonna happen, and no, none, nobody knew what that was. Yeah, how did I avoid Spider Man getting spoiled for me? Mm. But Infinity War got spoiled for me. That's kind of crazy, actually. It's like, man. I don't think, looking back at it now, I don't think it was, like, the worst spoilers in the world. But at the time, that was heartbreaking. Oh, dude, I would have been oh, so like years mad. from now, I would be significantly less mad at um, a friend of mine for spoiling Spider-Man on his Snapchat. Uh, I, never saw, I never saw the Snapchat, but I remember someone texting me and was like, dude, that guy's a, yeah. <laughs> that dude's a major doucher or uh-huh. something like that. And, and so I just remember I went and like hid that dude's story from my snap. Oh like, no, I went, dude! I forgot to put it back after I saw it. That's pretty funny. That's <laughs> tragic, bro. I don't. That's the thing. Like my brother, one of my brothers will always joke. I was thinking, it's like yeah, like my brothers will always joke, or like whoever I'm with, somebody always makes the joke of like, well they'll walk out and be like, oh man, didn't you like this? And then I'm just like, no, don't even joke about it because if somebody even gets the slightest like inclination that you're about to even like think of saying think of saying like a spoiler, they're gonna. You can have problems, and I don't want to have a. I, I don't. I don't want to have a public altercation at a movie theater, bro. See, I can't now, be having that. That we were can't happen. Those jokes, but they were so like obviously fake, mm-hmm. like that it was actually funny. Like we did our best to avoid saying any Marvel characters, right? Like me and my buddy were staying in line. We like, yo, met. Batman was there. We this was both, crazy. Like we were on. Tw- like I pretended to be on Twitter. I went, dude. Some dude on Twitter just spoiled it for me. Apparently, Scooby Doo dies. <laughs> <laughs> 
See, I like that. Fake spoilers are funny. Uh, where it's just like, yo, dude, I can't believe, I can't believe they just reeked. I can't believe they recasted the character. Like, it's like something stupid like that. Like, yo, I can't believe they just, in the trailer, just said it was this person still playing the character, but in the movie, it was somebody else the whole time. And I they can't just believe didn't... they recasted Electro with <laughs> Tracy Morgan. Oh, no. And they didn't tell anybody. That's crazy. Why would they do such a they thing? They just used test footage for the trailer. Oh, my God. Dude, that would have been, yeah, that stuff is. Is to be, yeah, uh, the moral of this random break, uh, don't spoil things, kids. Uh, don't be doing that. Because I still want to see the Sonic movie, and I don't know anything that happened still right now. It came out last well, Friday. Wait, Knuckles is red. <laughs> Got him. Oh, dang. I thought for sure they'd turn him purple for this one. Dang. Better, better look next time. It's Sonic 3, baby. <laughs> we'll have purple Knuckles then. <laughs> It'll oh, happen. Oh, dang, dude. They just clicked me. What? For Sonic 3, they're going to have to use one of the other villains since Jim Carrey just retired. Yeah, that's true. Shadow, shadow. Yeah, I was gonna say shadow. it's gotta be it's gotta be shadow or because they're already going like completely in with yes we love the video games we'll do stuff in the video games have it be chaos bro just have it just go off the wall be yeah. just some insane stuff have him go back to Sonic's home world oh yeah I keep forgetting that he's from a different like planet I keep forgetting that's a thing because I still th- I still love again I haven't seen neither of us have seen Sonic two my favorite thing is people were like. Uh, or, like, reviews were, like, the only, like, downside to the movie is that they don't really focus on the human characters. And everybody's like, good! This is a Sonic movie! I want to see Sonic and his yeah, friends! the first one focused just enough. But yeah, because you had to, because it was still, only Sonic. But still not too much, you know? Yeah. Like, I don't know. I'm just glad that Tails is in it. It would have yeah. been weird had they brought Knuckles without <laughs> Tails. Yeah. My, that's or my, vice versa. My it would have been weird having yeah, that's Tails true. without Knuckles. Yeah, because, I mean, I didn't think they were doing that until, and all of a sudden, Idris Elba is Sonic. And I was like, what yeah, do you mean? The craziest thing is what do you mean? Idris Elba just randomly tweeted a picture of uh, Knuckles' uh, fist on the ground. Oh, yeah, that's right. And was. I remember literally thinking, huh, <laughs> is he playing him? Uh-huh, <laughs> and then I was like, Idris Elba is Knuckles. And it's like, what do you mean? So, uh, yeah, so we're going to go to break. We can come back. I have found something that we can at least somewhat talk about. Uh, so that's what we're going to talk about. Uh, I'll, I'm, I might tell you all. During the break, or maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll see. Oh yeah. Oh, it was also. If you Please not... don't enlighten me right before <laughs> the break starts. Well, we'll figure out if he does when we come back on the Jones Talk Show. Please work. Oh. I think we should go into further detail on Lyme disease. Oh no. Would I you? can't. I can't believe that was that was breaking news this to me. News just so happened to be Ahsoka related. Well, I was gonna talk about something Star Wars related. What is it? It's the visions thing I mentioned earlier. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think it's, like, too big a thing, but we can just... I mean, it's just we can combine it with this. Yeah, yeah, you're right. They just got Spider-Verse director for an episode. Oh, word. I assume the first one. Or is, is the person that did the first one doing the second one? Um, he did Spider-Man and the Spider-Verse and Rise of the Guardians. Ah. So he's not doing the second Spider-Verse. I don't know. Or is he? He oh, may okay. have, but since uh, the movie's not out yet. Yeah. Well, I mean, we would still know, I would think. The last thing he, uh, what was it? Oh, right before he signed on to do this, he just finished overseeing a supernatural vampire thriller called Blood Trap. Oh. That's just sounds cool. You're listening to Shutdown's talk show here on Z90.7 WZIS-FM, Terre Haute. And we are back with the Shutdown's talk show. So, uh, something I had found earlier, but then totally spaced, uh, when it came to the last break. Uh, it was something I shared with Gavin earlier, and a friend of mine actually sent it to me earlier. And uh, and then you just found something that actually goes along, not goes along with it, but it's the same thing we're talking about. Same and that's, a, yeah, uh, so Star Wars Visions, which was the um, anthology, I believe is the right word, uh, yeah. an, uh, anime series that, involving Star Wars stuff that came out, that was earlier this year, right? A few months ago? Yeah, or was it last, or was that the end of last year? End of Legit, don't remember. But all of it was good. So good. Uh, so good. Everything in Star Wars Visions was great. And I knew that they had, like, there was a, a possibility of them doing, like, I think it's already, it was later confirmed that they're doing, like, another season of that, or another, like, season's worth, I should say, since none of it's really connected. Or somebody did make a good point of, some of these seem like, yeah, one-offs that were cool, but other of them seemed like, almost like they were pilots for, like, extended shows. And I was like, honestly, I will, I from every episode of every some of that, them. Some of them I would absolutely watch entire series of all of those. I like, thought they were um, all great. The Ronin one. That felt yes. like a pilot. Yeah, that, that, that one was, I mean, that one, well, that one's kind of 50-50 for me. That's a cool, like, little thing, but I would love to see more of it, especially the way it's animated was, yeah. oh, my God, incredible. And Toby. 
Yeah, that Toby, I can see that one being being one. Um, pretty much, well, yeah, most of them. Yeah. Most of them I'd be most like, I would absolutely watch the a whole show The one that didn't this. really feel like that was the, uh, I forget what it's called. I think it's called, like, The Bride or something like that, or The Princess, whatever. I don't know. Where, uh... Oh, where, where, home, where Homeboy has the vision uh, of, like, his, of his, like, of his, of his girlfriend dying, and he tries to, like, prevent it, but then he basically causes it to happen. That one. Or no. Oh, no. I get... Okay, no, I remember what oh, you're saying. Oh, The Village Bride. That's what it's yes, called. Yes, The Village Bride. It's, uh, yes. Yeah. That one. Okay, now I know, now I know what you're talking now. about. Yeah, but... With Star Wars Visions, uh, it said it's continuing this year with new shorts uh, this year. This was announced, when are, t- yeah, today. Wait, where are they selling the shorts? I can buy a couple. I'm going to fight you <laughs> you say another dumb joke That one like was that. so much better than the one you made earlier. Anyways, um, keep yeah, well, I, well, this, well, this article, yeah. So, yes, the Star Wars Visions Season 2 is in the works and pretty much has been since the first season started. But these uh, shorts are set to come out this year, which is cool. And uh, I don't think it's been said yet, like, what all animation companies are, are part of this time around, but I would think they would get at least some of the ones they they did before, because it was some pretty fantastic stuff Yeah, that they had. And whether some of them are continuations of others, or if they have a couple of one and then a couple of other, or it's all just one-offs again, uh, we don't know. Uh, but since stuff is... Uh, yeah, and they'll, oh yeah, I keep forgetting. Star Wars Celebration is happening at uh, the end of May. I'm pretty sure. Why would? Yeah, they, I thought they always did it on Star Wars Day. Well, Celebration. I don't know if they always do Celebration Day, but Star like May the Fourth is obviously gonna happen, and they'll announce stuff then. But then Star Wars Celebration is happening at the end of May, and I know the only things I remember being confirmed are uh, there's gonna be a panel for Mandalorian, a panel for Obi Wan since it comes out like a couple a couple days later. Farts. And then there's a third one. Was it a Bad Batch one? Maybe? Mm, I don't know. I, I don't remember. They said that they're making another season, but they haven't said anything. You know, yeah, I was like, they said a new season was coming out last year, this year. So I'm pretty sure May the 4th and, or, well, pro- yeah, probably both. May the 4th and Star Wars Celebration, they're going to go into that some more, which I is cool, because I'm very much wanting to more Bad Batch. I need it in my life. As much fun as I'm having with Lego right now, I just need more information mm-hmm. on Star Wars related games. I don't uh, need them yet, but I just want to know more. Mm-hmm. Because with all the stuff that's been happening in Star Wars right now, everyone is so excited to see like um I don't know, Fallen Order 2. Yeah. Because like everyone's like, "Man, we got we're about to know what happened with Obi-Wan, but like what's Cal Kestis up to?" Mm-hmm. And, I'm and that's like, another thing too that keeps like I can't can't stop thinking about when it comes to that because they said like it's it's like loosely said like Fallen Order sequel but it's never been confirmed that that's the next game that they're making like it'll be like the same like combat and stuff but I still have not seen anywhere where it's like 100 percent confirmed like yes it is continuing this story so like that that's just something I keep I can't stop thinking about because I doubt I, they'd shy away from. Yeah, I yeah, but but again, like I don't know. He's literally in some people's like top ten Jedi's of all time list off of one video game, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> that is, that is quite wild. Also, I saw a video the other day, uh, sort of related to that, where it was like this. Uh, I don't know if you ever watched Star Wars Explained on YouTube. Sometimes. Um. Yeah. Only but the uh, stuff I need explained. Well, yeah. Well, I, like, I didn't need this explained, but I was about to go to bed, and I was just like, hey, you know, I'll watch this. There might be. I was like, there might be something I didn't know, and there was. Because uh, it was like a list of all Jedi they have in the the new canon uh, that had survived Order sixty six. Uh, no, uh, but he um, but he, he had also but I think after going through them, there's like there's like thirty of something, like like confirmed ones. And some of them are just like there were names, but we never seen them, or you've seen them, but they weren't named. Uh, so we know like literally nothing about them this outside of they right exist. Down? Yeah, yeah. Basically, like, like one of them was like it was it was like two Inquisitors in a com in a comic. It's like well, there's these two guys here. Uh, they don't speak, and they are never named. But they're there, so they... You never see them die. <laughs> it, true, as well. Um, but, but, yeah, they had... A, so some one guy was like... He's like, they'll pro- he's like, who knows? He's like, we'll probably get some more Jedi that are said to survive. Uh, but, and some people will probably be upset because they feel like they have too many. But also, I just wanted to be known. There were... Uh, they always say there was 10,000 Jedi 
throughout the um, around the time of the Clone Wars, and the fact that we've only seen 39 of them survive Order 66 shows just how effective it was, because that's 0.4% mm. of the entire population of Jedi that are still around. He's like, even if we got, like, another, like, 15 more and rounded it out, we would still be, like, at 1% of 10,000, and that's obviously not a lot. Uh, and also, this person makes and uh, that made this article um, said, uh, yeah, announcement timing is never easy to track, uh, but they've heard before that celebration would bring a, bring a bunch of news, of course, that would set the record straight on a lot of the uh, reported projects going around. Uh, like maybe that live action High Republic show um, that they was also reported on earlier this year. That's a different one, though. I don't think that's one of the ones they announced previously. Uh, yeah, I don't know anything about that. But Gavin, also, you had said that there was another Star Wars related thing mm-hmm. that you had found. So, the Ahsoka TV series, which we knew was either in production or about to start it, since mm-hmm. I think they said something about either being closer to or already being done with Mandalorian season. Yeah, Man- Mando's done. Like, That's doing, what I thought. Yes. Okay, yeah. And so I think they're in production with Ahsoka right now. Okay. And they tapped in another director to come in for at least one episode. It right. And... <clears throat> This director is Peter Ramsey, who also worked on Spider-Man Into the Mm -hmm. Spider-Verse, the children's movie Rise of the Guardians. But um, that's like the that's like the the uh, like Santa Claus, yeah, and and Jack Frost, yeah, that. But uh, he also has been an art board director for Ron Howard's How the Grinch Stole Stole Christmas, Steven Spielberg's uh, AI Artificial Intelligence, and. Dave Filoni and John Favreau picked him specifically oh. to come in and direct alongside with, you know, John and Dave and yeah. Robert Rodriguez, uh, Rick Fumayiwa, Bryce Dallas Howard is returning to oh, direct good, them, thank you. and Deborah Cho. Yes, thank you. Good and stuff. then Cho is also the showrunner for Obi-Wan. Oh, yeah, she is. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. I'm super yeah, excited, that, though. So yeah, that's a lot. That's a, that's a good get, and it's especially good when John Favreau and Dave Filoni specifically are like, I want you. That is a good sign. Because this show, like, everything that Dave Filoni has been a part of has basically been, like, his his baby, or, like, he's, he's like, one of the parents of it, essentially. This is, like, all him. Because he was part of Clone Wars and basically helped bring Ahsoka from mm-hmm. the initially hated character to one of the most beloved Star Wars characters of all time as of now. So this is, like... And so this is something that we know we never thought we would ever get anything like this. Like never in a million years did anybody think about this. Yeah. But um, so it makes sense that he's getting like the all stars. Why together. this hasn't been ramp or why this hasn't been announced, or we just missed it? Uh, Ahsoka has been ramping up its castings lately. Um, it was reported that Natasha Lou Bordizo would star as Sabine Wren. What? Mary Elizabeth Winstead and Ray Stevenson have also been cast in undisclosed roles. What? And Hayden Christensen is will reprise his role as Anakin slash Darth Vader. How did how how did we not when and how did we Ahsoka miss this? is going to tie in with the Mandalorian and Book of Boba Fett story arc too. So what? And it's basically how all do we but, not know this? And then where have we been? What happened? It's basically all but confirmed that, uh, or it's confirmed that. It's going to be a story arc regarding Ahsoka finding Thrawn. Yeah. And so... And the ergo Ezra as well. Especially with Sabine Wren. Yeah. Was, well, cause, either, so well, cause at either, the Because at the end of Rebels, that's their whole... That's the whole yeah. thing they say is that the, the Empire's been defeated, and now we have nothing else... And now that we have more time, basically, Ahsoka, Ahsoka and Sabine are going to find him because he's been missing for, like, three, four years. And now with this happening, like, more after that, it's been over ten, I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. Because he disappeared right before the first Death Star blew up. Mm-hmm. And they didn't start looking for him until after that. And Ahsoka was still looking eight years after that happened. So it's like, or like six, or whatever it is. I never remember. All I know is, how do we why miss- did we not, how do we not know I don't that? think we missed it. I think There's- they just didn't inform us. Yeah, no, it's their fault. <laughs> oh my lord. It is, I can't believe we didn't know how... Was Mary Elizabeth Winstead put in Star Wars, and I was not aware of that. I That's know. messed up. Ramona Flower. How was I not aware of that? Huntress. I say I love Mary Elizabeth Winstead. She's one of my favorite actresses. She was uh the she was the villain in Sky High. 
It was. I always forget that was her. That's a. I don't want to hear any Sky High slander. I'm not. No, I wasn't going. Okay. I just made this face because I. (laughs) I knew it, and every time I see her and mm-hmm. think of her, I think of it. Yeah. But in my head, I was like, dang, I'm really not the only person that does this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord. Seriously, all right, I was saying, like, so that's um insane. Uh, who did they say was, uh, I'm, I'm looking this up now, hold on. Now, how long did they ago, say was what? Who was playing? Uh, they haven't announced who's thrown. No, I'm saying who's Sabine. Oh, Natasha Lou Bordizo. Okay. Now, I'm about to look her up, too, because I've never seen her before. Okay. Uh, breaking news, months late for the, the shut-ins here. Uh, oh, my god. They goodness. said it's back in January. That's casting perfection. Oh, my God. Yes, it is. Good. Uh, well, see, I, well, I was going to say, like, <laughs> uh, they've already... Because they're already... look up Natasha Lou Bordizo. Yeah. And tell me that doesn't look like real life. Yeah, Sabine but Rennie. yeah. Like, cause especially what Sabine looks like in the epilogue of Rebels, where she's, like, older. And has longer That's... hair. Does she have longer hair? Her, she lets her hair grow out a little bit. Uh, yeah, okay. That sounds right. It's not like um, the... It's not like as, as short... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, you're right, right, you're right. Right, um, right, 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 right. But yeah, but apparently Mary Elizabeth Winstead News was in January. And the January, too, so we were here. Don't know how we didn't see that. I think we've been lied to. Um, we've been so, uh, that's... For, well, I'm glad we know this now, because... Oh, good Lord. That is... How do we not know that? That's kind of crazy. I think that, like, I really think, like, this is all great news and whatnot, but I really think the only thing that's blowing me away right now is Hayden Christensen. That's, in what? When was that confirmed? Because that had to be recent. Because it just says. That had to be. Like, it doesn't say it's rumored. It just, it it has to be confirmed. It was. What? Corner this, it said that in October. There's no way. There's no way this has been known since Did October. Did we even know that about Kenobi in October? I don't think so. That's a lot. There's no way. Oh, my God. But that's Hollywood Reporter. Which said this it. just means that We're we could have... We're so dumb. That's what okay. it means. I understand I understand. no one wants it with Kenobi because I'm, sa- I'm in the same boat about it. Yes. But this just means... Or no one wants something similar to this. This just means that we get... That we can and probably will have Ezra and Sabine reuniting mm-hmm. for the first time since Rebels. Yes. And then also, because of that, it'll be the first time seeing them live action. Also, yes. And then also Ezra and Sabine get to meet Mando. And that's then, also a possibility. And then that's another set. That's another Mandalorian to tell him that his religion is crazy. Oh, my God, you're right. Which oh, means man. he will probably get all the other Mandalorians we saw. Again, possible that is true, and then who knows what else is gonna happen because, yeah, Thrawn being in live action, period, and still what? being around after the end of the Empire. So, I mean, that dude's been out, obviously, been gone for several years, and he comes and he's so I don't know if he's a, we don't even know if him and Ezra are aware of anything that's happened in the galaxy because yeah. he went to the he went to wild space, the, uh, the unknown region. I just, I, I just oh want to see God. Sabine's face when she sees that Mando has the dark saber, yeah, because again. <laughs> Big gap in in the whereabouts of Darksaber as yeah. well. And then, if that's the case, wait, never mind, I'm dumb. Uh, the Darth Vader slash Anakin things will definitely be flashbacks, but still, yes. dope. Yes. Dope, 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 dope. Dude, oh. dude, the fact- we get flashbacks to the Ahsoka and Anakin and Ezra fight? And we see Hayden Christensen with the gash in the There's moment. no way, dude. Like, There's it wouldn't no be, like, shot way. for shot, obviously, but right. wouldn't it something like that? That would be because insanity. they had, like, seen each other. And whatnot, mm-hmm. but Ahsoka was just like, eh, I gotta go. <laughs> yeah, true. Oh my god, dude. That's that's absurd. This also goes to say that um that supposed leak of Ahsoka on set stuff um was uh, super fake. Uh was not real at all. Yeah. Which I knew it was not real at all because I was like, none of this makes sense. It would look cool. None of it makes sense. And it also was the blurriest unless, picture unless I've ever seen. Unless it was like just a flashback, and that's it. Just well, like it involved well, it involved Darth Maul, and they were looking like they're in a desert. So it was either a vision or a very incorrect uh, flashback. Yeah, either a vision because they were like in the desert, or Obi Wan just randomly had a flashback to uh, when they first got Anakin off Tatooine, and then Ahsoka like walks up, and is like, "Hey, bro, you remember me?" Mm-hmm. And he throws off the vision. Yeah, I don't know. And uh, then the fever dream ends. And you yeah, I was going to say that just all sounds like a fever dream, and nothing makes sense. So it's like, ah, whatever. But it was fake. It doesn't matter. We're never talking about it again. Um, but yeah, how did we go, there was news from as late, 
That's October that we did not know until by right now. How is that possible? How on earth did we not know that? That's impressive that we have missed out on news since October. There was something almost every month about Ahsoka, and we didn't know. That's crazy. Oh, my Lord. How did we do that? I guess I can forgive the stuff earlier this year because we were watching Book of Boba Fett or maybe focus on that. But I can't give us anything for the end of last year. There wasn't there was a that was, I a, can. Star, that was a Star Wars break. They're lying to us. Well, I don't know. They're trying to make up scenarios in which we think that things happen. Oh, okay. We live in a world where things happen. Well, I was gonna yeah. say Mandela effect, but those words literally trigger you physically. They don't trigger me, it just gets on yes, my nerves. They do. No, I it say, just gets on I my meant, nerves. I see the word Mandela and I'll be talking about Nelson and Jacob starts to get triggered. Well, that's what it's named after, so I would I would think so. Look at him. Look at him. He's triggered. Anyways, we're going to go to He's break. And rage. when we come back, maybe we'll still talk about this. I don't know. We'll talk about something when we come back on Shun's Talk Show. Man. I was going to say, usually we go on a break like five minutes ago. But yeah, whatever. Bro doesn't want to talk about Barbie. <laughs> what is there to talk about? Will Ferrell. We don't know anything about it. We just know he's in it. Is there even a plot synopsis for it? Yeah, Barbie. <laughs> well, that's all I know about it, so I, I'm glad to know that there's been... Sean no Chi is going to show up to hang out with Barbie. And start going to do one of these. What? Okay, time out. What if this was, like, about action figures, and then <laughs> Simu Lu is just playing a Shang chi action figure? <laughs> that would be pretty funny. That would be better as, like, an animated thing, though, if you, like, it's no. like, actually an action figure. No. Yes. No. Uh huh. They have to shoot it just like they did the Barbie Girl music video for Aqua. <laughs> I, I guess. Don't know why. I'm like just hugging this chair today. <laughs> I'm just really here. We oh out God. here. <laughs> no, it looks so bad outside. It's so bad. Oh, no. We're back with the Shuddens Talk Show. Um, I almost played the outro, so ignore that. Uh, I guess we were one short and I wasn't paying attention. All right. Good thing I saved that. Doesn't matter. Anyways, um, do you want to talk about the Barbie movie, Gavin? Get in between the show. Those on Twitch here. Those listening on air might what not. What a weirdo. Why would I want to talk about Barbie? Because there's a movie <laughs> that's coming out, and they just had a new casting, Gavin. Who was it? Will Ferrell joins Margot Robbie. Let me, let me just actually, never mind. Yeah, go down the, go down let the list. Let me just go down the list. Yeah. Will Ferrell joins Margot Robbie, Ryan Gosling, America Ferreira, Kate McKinnon, Alexandra Ship, Ariana Greenblatt, and Simu Liu with the Barbie movie. Yes. And that's the thing. I, he, Gavin kept joking in between and was like, oh man, Jacob doesn't want to talk about the Barbie movie. I'm like, there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> we knew that. We know that Margot Robbie casted for anything Barbie related is just good casting because she could have, especially because it's a live action movie for whatever reason. But it's like, is Barbie now a real person? Were they ever a doll? Is she somebody that's like, Based on a doll. Oh, here, here we go, here we go. I found a, found a plot synopsis. A doll living in, quote, Barbie land, end quote, is expelled for not being perfect enough and sets off on an adventure in the real world. How? A live-action feature great. film based on the popular line of Barbie toys. This is going to be great. Also, Ryan Gosling is Ken, and that's that's also good casting. They've only casted by name uh, Barbie and Ken. They've already got the best castings possible. So, so that, I don't know who everybody else means, is going to be. This literally but, just means that Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling are going to be the only ones that have like the, Hi, I'm Barbie. Oh, bro. no. So and everyone else is going to be like, Sup. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's going to be like Ella Enchanted, bro. That's what it's going to be like. It's going to be these people from a, from a, from a fictional. Wrong. Just Enchanted. Oh, you're Ella, right, Ella Enchanted. Ella Enchanted is the one where they sing. Is that Anne Hathaway? Uh, yeah, that was Anne Hathaway. Yeah. They Which... sing My Homeboy, uh, otherwise known as Elton John. And they sing, don't yeah. go back in my heart. They can't do this to you. They have two good movies. One's called Enchanted, and that involves a princess, and one's called Ella Enchanted that also involves a princess. Okay, let me... They can't do this to me. I appreciate your opinion, but let me correct you here. Mm-hmm. They're not two good movies. They're two phenomenal movies. Yes. And those movies but then also, to this day yeah, are bops. Yeah, also Enchanted. And you think they yeah. would have aged poorly, but no, they're No, they're all still bops. great. Also, speaking of Enchanted, they're making like a sequel. Disenchanted. Yeah, yeah. Disenchanted. They have yeah. it all casted and production starts. Yeah, I was saying, no, production's already started. Someone found, had like a picture of uh, Amy Adams and I don't remember the other guy's, the actor's yes. name that plays. The, the, the guy. guy. 
Yeah, Grey's Anatomy guy that's with him. Because somebody had a picture of him. They're just like, oh, they look so great. This is great. But yeah, um, but yeah to, to backtrack a little bit. Um, yeah, so it's going to be like Enchanted, where there's somebody from a fictional world that comes to the real world, I guess. Um, uh, yeah, but Enchanted, not to be confused with the Anne Hathaway movie, Ella Enchanted. Not to be confused with the Anne Hathaway movie, Princess Diary, and or Princess Diary 2. <laughs> because Not to get confused with the Selena Gomez and Demi Lovato secret uh, Princess Protection Program. Yes. I just wanted in on this. No, that, no, that, no, no, I was trying to think of another one. I'm like, can I extend this? But thank you, because I totally forgot about that. <laughs> Which is not to get also, confused uh, with the Demi Love. Or not, not to get not, confused <laughs> with the Selena Gomez, the Cinderella story. Oh, my God. Which not, is not to get <laughs> confused with the Hillary Duff story. Which is not story. to be confused with that one movie where uh, if Vanessa Hudgens just plays both sisters, and they do different things, and then they had a sequel, there was three of them. Not to get confused with Vanessa Hudgens and... The Beastly movie, which is a rough take on Beauty and the Beast. Or High School Musical 1, which 2, is not or to get, 3. Which is not to get confused with High School Musical 1, 2, or 3. Which is not to get oh confused my God. with Demi Lovato and Camp Rock 1 and 2. Uh, well, I was just going to say not to be confused with High School Musical, the musical, the series. My brain is melting which as Which is not speak. to get confused with Jonas Brothers being in their own TV series entitled Jonas. Wait, is that happening? Or was that the old one? The old one. Okay. I thought, the way not you're... to get confused with Frankie Jonas being a pretty cool TikTok star. Which is not to get confused with uh, Joe Jonas quitting his band DNCE, otherwise known as Dance, to be back with his brothers to reform the Jonas Brothers. We gotta stop. We gotta stop going down this rabbit hole. We gotta we stop. Going. No, we That's gotta fine. stop. I'm, I'm not this one. Is like, the last five minutes it cannot be just the ramblings of two insane people alive like on air. Those, it's like one of those TikTok trends where they oh, do like no. the, I'm, I'm talking butter, no sodium. Oh my God. Or whatever. And we just keep going over yeah. and over. Oh my lord! Um, okay, now I say this. Um, oh, this oh, spurred from oh. Barbie. How I wanna, the hell? I want to talk did about another thing here? because uh, dude, it's really, say, really, really cool. I was gonna say we have five minutes left. We can talk about whatever. So this kind of borderline goes to Star Wars news mm-hmm. because this was going to be Episode Seven's plotline. Zack Snyder's new film Rebel Moon is a new Netflix project in which Zack Snyder took an old Star Wars script for Episode Seven that he had made be- way before. They had actually planned out Force Awakens. Was he ever on board for Seven? He Not officially. It was just when it was in the writing phase. Mm. Not even, like, ready to be made. They asked him to write a script for it, and they trashed it. Oh, It wow. was, like, right as the Disney acquisition happened. Uh, and so they were like, hey, Zach, write us a movie. And he yeah, was like, That's cool. early, early, yeah. Yeah, and so he was like, cool. And so he took the script of that, and the cast, dope. Charlie Hunnam, uh... Demon Hansu, Duna Bay, Ray Fisher, Word. Rupert Friend, Stuart oh, Martin, Word. and Sophia Butella. And then they also just casted, uh, I always mess this up, I'm sorry, Carrie Elwes. Els? You? Carrie Elwes? Yeah. Princess Bride? Yeah. Wesley himself? They just, oh my god. They just casted him as King of the Galactic Empire. Oh, sick. Um, oh, wow. They actually added more. Uh, Carrie Elwes, Corey Sh- Corey Stoll, Michael Huseman, and Alfonso Herrera have joined the space epic. Uh, he'll be uh, Elvis will be playing the king of the Galactic Empire while the other actors' roles are unknown. Um, where's the synopsis? Oh, I found it. It says the people of a galaxy sends a young woman to seek out warriors from other planets to help them from the tyrannical armies that are terrorizing their peaceful colony. Yeah. So there you go. Oh, uh, I already forgot his first name. But uh oh yeah, Corey Stoll was um he was Yellow Jacket. He was Yellow Jacket. He was yeah. Yellow Jacket. He was in the new West Side Story. He was in the Many Saints of Newark. Um, oh wow, uh, the Huseman guy was in the new Flight Attendant series on HBO Max, Game of Thrones, Orphan Black, and Haunting of Hill House. There you go. And then Herrera was in Ozark. I remember that. Oh, you said. Dijon Hansu and I did not even like put two yeah, two together that I that well no I just well I think you said you said it right I, I said Hansu right but not Dijon yeah uh yeah I was like, I didn't uh but you said that and I was in my head I'm like oh yeah I know who that is I just didn't even I didn't even like acknowledge it um yeah this cast is great and I'm very interested to see um because this was like, supposed to be because a... this was a very a, yeah so. From what he's saying, this was like at least at the in the beginning, it was a rough Star Wars script for new Disney Episode Seven. What we, yeah. what ended up being Force Awakens? This was what he because yeah. this was, was supposed to be writing. called uh, Star Wars Rebel Moon oh. or something Moon. So, yeah, 
because he wanted to go off the idea Star that the Wars, Death Star. Well, he wanted to go off of, like the idea that uh, the Death Star was gone. Yeah, and so he wanted to, instead of just you know making another Death Star to explode, which is what they did. <laughs> he wanted to like talk about like how they just set up on an actual moon instead oh. of, and they didn't like turn it into a giant laser or anything. Yeah, they just but he like he just wanted that to be like where the new like evil base is for whatever, and he because he didn't want like a whole empire out of it. He just wanted like a essentially a cult. Mm. Because he thought it would be really dope to have a cult be the thing. Yeah, which is kind of interesting because um, while not in the movies, that is kind of what they've done with when what they started in Mandalorian, where it's less than ten years after the Empire's defeated. So there's just stragglers and sex. That's kind of what of yeah of where that's kind of what he's going with because he thought it would be cool to see like the Jedi being rebuilt, but not yeah. not super far into it. Yeah, but like just a handful. Versus, like, this whole cult-like thing, which essentially is just battling their whole premise, too. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It was weird, because he was like, it's not the Sith, though, I swear. <laughs> well, I was going to say, you were describing it, and I assume you were reading it off. Like, they're like, oh, yes, this person is the leader of the Empire. And I'm like, oh, well, I mean, that's just pretty cut and dry right there. Well, that's what they just called it the Galactic Empire, just to go with it. Yeah, well, I mean, and I you, and, well, you also it. can't, like, those are very general words you can't really own. Watch this movie do really well, and they actually turn Zack Snyder in. I hope Zack Snyder gives him the finger, though, because that would be funny. <laughs> I hope he does, but also at the same time, Zack Snyder could have been what we needed to make a really good sequel trilogy. Yeah, well, it's, well, it's this thing. It, it, it's like, you're right with that, but in general, to even get more broad with that, what could have made the sequel trilogy better would be if they actually just had a plan. Well, they because were, they didn't. Dude, even and, George Lucas had like a rough idea, but even, yes. he, but even he was like, I just never did it. Well, he no, he didn't. Well, he didn't do it because everybody hated the prequels when they came well, out. That's so he what gave he, up. Well, he yeah. was just. Well, he was just like, I had a rough idea, but I wasn't gonna start. Yeah. He was like, there wasn't a full plan. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Because he had, at the very least, one through six planned out for years, which is still because you go and see like any like behind the scenes stuff or like documentary, on like Star Wars stuff. Um, because I watched one of them that was about the original trilogy that they had released back in like two thousand five or something or two thousand four because it was on Disney Plus and I was bored, so I went and watched that. And literally, like, it was showing, like, casting reels of, uh, like, when they had Mark Hamill and Carrie Fisher and Harrison Ford, like, reading off lines. And there were some things they mentioned. Like, there were some planets that, like, Luke mentions in, like, some of this dialogue. Because some of it was stuff they used in the movie. And other was just, like, other random stuff he had. Mm-hmm. Like, one of them, he mentions, like, a planet or two. And it's like, do these planets not have anything, like, even close to relevant happening in them? Like, or, like, these planets never showed up or mentioned in the movies, period. Not even in the newer ones. And... Those planets didn't have anything important on them until stuff like some video games in the 2000s and Clone Wars. Mm-hmm. And it's like, he had the names of this stuff and, like, ideas of what they were he in the 70s. He created whole languages. That's also true. He created at the very... Well, Not had, just one new language. Multiple. Well, yeah. Well, multiple, at least enough to, like, have the words that need to be said. But Arabish is a whole language that you can learn. Yeah. And is directly translatable because you see people do that with signs in, the, like, the Lego Star Wars, for example, most recently. Yeah. All over the place. Um, unless you're me and you just buy Universal translator. translator. Yeah, I'm, I've been refrained from doing that yet, but eventually I am going to. Because yeah, like it's I, getting kind of annoying. I bought Pew Pew just because, <laughs> and it's great just hearing Pew Pew Pew. Yeah. Or when you're in the ship and you just hear, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, they do it differently for that? That's awesome. I didn't know that. That's so sick. Uh, all right, that was all right, yes. it for this chaotic episode. Yes, that yeah, that's, that's the word. Of the day, it's uh, chaotic. Uh, but thank you so much for listening, as always. Um, we will not be here next week. We will not. Because we have an event going on. We will be at on. Spring Giveaway yes. if you are on campus from mm-hmm. 6 to 8 p.m. And we'll be in. the DD1 and come join the raffle. We're yeah. giving away some really cool stuff, We're giving actually. away a bunch of free stuff. Yeah, and we're. Who doesn't uh, like free stuff? We're giving away at least three t-shirts for uh, everyone's favorite, Barbotics. Mm-hmm. Uh, must be 21 or older to... Join the raffle for that shirt, though. Uh, yeah. Um, but short of that, we got tons of stuff for everyone, though. Yes, Don't absolutely. feel discouraged just because you can't get the T-shirt. Yes, for, the, for those watching at Twitch and or listening on air, that's happening actually here on campus where we are yeah. uh, next Wednesday. So we will not have a show because of that. But then the next week after that, I think that that might be Hopefully. the last. Yeah, I will say, I, I think so. But it I might think also, that would be the last but one. I think that might be the last one <laughs> two yeah. weeks from now. Oh, that's crazy. We'll at least do one last episode. Of course, yes. But uh, yes, until can. then. Yes. So once again, this has been Shonen's Talk Show. I've been Jacob Pickett. I've been Gavin Cook. And we will see you all next time. 
Actually, but you can catch Shut In's talk show again every Wednesday from 6 to 7 p.m. here on Z90.7 WZIS. Trapaholics mixtapes. Dang, Pickett, where'd this you find fine. this? All right, Twitch. Uh, been been fun, and it's been real, but it ain't been real fun. Uh, and now uh, it's <laughs> tell him to get the nineties dad chat out very, of here. It's very hot in here, so I'm gonna leave. Oh my gosh, uh, tell him to get the nineties and early two thousands out of here. Anyways, train. let me grab the right mouse. To Dude, really just said it's getting hot in here. Okay, bye, 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 Twitch. Later, Gators. Bye,